Hey Libra, what's up? Welcome to your singles reading for February 2023. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, guys, so what we do in the singles readings, these are the shortest ones that I do. We take a look at two different people you could be dealing with during this time period. If you are looking for a longer reading, make sure you check out your weekly love readings as well as your monthly generals. Uh, February should be up momentarily. If you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. You can also feel free to follow me on other social media. I am everywhere under the same name, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. All right, guys, so your first person. This is likely somebody you dealt with before, somebody who maybe you ghosted them, maybe they ghosted you, maybe you guys are, you know, maybe this is an actual ex of yours. But this is somebody who wants a second chance. They want you to take another look at them. All right, let's see what else we get on this person. Yeah, they're, they're coming in with an apology. They want to make things right. They want to bring things back into balance. And they might be coming back with an apology and a gift. Like, they might try to, like, win you back with uh, gifts. Potentially a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it's like... Uh, they've grown up emotionally um they've grown up emotionally they want to go down a different path they're trying to follow their heart and that's where you come in um they have this clarity they're not confused anymore they're trying to be you know very emotionally available emotionally intelligent um compassionate loving they're definitely trying to take a different different path than they've been taking here um how do you feel about this person? How will you feel about this person? Oh, you feel like you do not want to reunite with them. Maybe they cheated. Maybe they had you in a third party thing. Maybe your friends and family don't like them. You feel like mm -mm, you just don't want to. You feel like they're only back for sex. You feel like maybe they hook up with a lot of people. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> All right, this person over here, Earth, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Heavy. This is someone who um, is looking for an actual commitment, long-term commitment. They're very solid, very grown up. Um, they have a good job. They have stability in their life. You might meet them through some kind of weird, faded circumstances. Oh, okay, interesting. So... You might meet them through something that's not very pleasant. All right, like say something happens and this isn't, you know, going to happen. I'm just giving you an example. Say you're driving to work, you get a flat tire, somebody pulls over, helps you fix it, and that's your person. That's how you meet them. It's through some kind of weird, unfortunate circumstances that you could meet. Um, they might be divorced. You might be. Um, but it's like, now's the time for you to meet them. Now is when this is supposed to happen. Yep. It's a soulmate. I mean, we have a ton, but this is one of them. And they're, they're looking for the whole deal. Commitment, marriage, all that. Um... Gosh, you've got five of pentacles reversed for both of these people. Hopefully this isn't the same person. Um, but this could be somebody that maybe you rejected in the past. Maybe they rejected. Again, maybe they recently left somebody and it has nothing to do with you. Like they recently got a divorce or something. Um, but they're over that. That's not still an issue in their life. How do you feel about this person? How will you feel about this person? They could be another Libra as well. Either way, they allow you to be your whole self. Like, they see you for you.
you feel like they're a divine counterpart. Um, you feel like they have their shit together, like they're somebody who's very proactive, very aggressive, very take charge. They could be the boss where they work. They could, um, they could own their own business. Yeah, four of wands, 11, 11, and we have 11 with your card here with justice. So pay attention to 11, 11 with this person. Um, what else? You look at them as being very stable and you're right. You could meet them through some kind of a celebration, but they're looking for marriage. And that's, that's your outcome, should you choose to deal with them. Your outcome is literal marriage, if you're somebody who believes in marriage. The very least, moving in together. What is the outcome here, again? Yeah, it's confession. It's, it's things coming out into the open. Again, Taurus, commitment. I mean, it's just... It's just reiterating the same thing. There's a whole lot of freaking marriage energy here. I don't know how you feel about that, but it is what it is. You guys have the same kind of traditional belief system. All right. All right. You guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.